hey you guys and welcome back to the channel so my name is christina my husband's name is yadel we are homesteaders mobile home owners and all around trying to make life easy and debt free in today's video i'm finally getting to this guest room my mother is coming in on the I don't know the date, but I know she's coming in on Monday. Today is actually Friday. We have a couple days to get this room right. I'm gonna take off all the sheets. Yudel finally took out all of the deep freezers that were here. <laughs> Do you hear Addy? She's too much. But I'm very excited because I've been dying to get this room fixed up. I want it to be back where it was because all the rooms in this house are finally done and fixed. I need to get this room to where it needs to be put these beds back where they were because one of them is on one side, the other one is on the other side. I need to get the TV back on top of this TV stand, well, dresser. I just need to all around clean and get all this stuff out and also put a bed sheet. Actually, let me turn you guys around. I need to put the mattress cover on this mattress, even if it's halfway, but I need to put it on just so that way then I can put the sheet on and all of that so i need to do that to this one and then this bed sheet right here has pink eyeshadow from my cousins when they had stood the last time they had stood here for christmas like makeup sets and they put eyeshadow on the bed not on purpose they were just playing so i'm going to just wash those bed sheets with some clorox and take out all of those stains and then i'm going to wash all of those bed sheets as well i'm going to clean up all of this mess I'm going to vacuum the mattresses with my vacuum and we're also going to sweep this room, mop this room, and then put everything back where it needs to be. I've been already working in this room, like I've been throwing away trash, I have trash bags everywhere because this was stuff that was also in our office and our office is finally done. So now that this is the storage room, we can finally get stuff done in here. The first thing that we're going to start with is just taking all the big things out of this room and we just had like extra tile from the office that we didn't use a tabletop for the desk that's actually in there that we split in half and just some other things that need to go into the storage and also i did get a new tripod i'm not a huge fan of it but We'll see how it turns out. I might like it in the long run. I'm starting to like it now looking at the videos and actually editing it. But I feel like it just moves around too much. And not only that, I can't talk while it's actually recording. Because it makes a lot of noise. Like every time it moves, it just makes a weird noise. But other than that, I'm a little bit 50%. I love it. 50% it's a no. But we are still going to try and use it and see how it turns out. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. This door, Yadel is actually going to put it back up. In order for us to get those deep freezers in this room when we remodeled the office, we had to take off the door. And also, Yadel is still painting the doorknobs to all these doors. That one was actually painted at one time, but then it kind of got scratched up from moving and going back and forth. And we also have the hinges for this door in black. We are going to be changing out all of them because what Yadel does is uses old hinges paints and then he will take them off and put new ones on it just looks so much nicer when you have newer hinges but yeah so that's kind of <laughs> what the whole door situation is Thank you. 
A lot of this junk that we have in this room is actually from the office. Like I said, so we moved everything from in there to this room just so that way we can remodel it and then moved everything that went back into that office back there. But I have loads of just garbage from when I cleaned out my nail room area and put just what I wanted back in there and also just stuff in the office that we did not need. I went through a lot of paperwork and just regular things that we did not need this is just extra stuff that can go inside of these drawers right here to this dresser that we normally use for a little bit of storage around the house this is kind of where we put all of our stuff that just doesn't have a home at the moment like cables and cords and extension cords things like that so i'm just getting ready to put all of that inside of that dresser but i am going to sweep and mop before i put that dresser where it belongs so that way everything can look nice where it's at and clean behind the dresser before i put it back Every time I mop the floors, a lot of you guys ask me where do I get my mop from and this is just an old cedar mop from Home Depot. You can also get them at Amazon, I think, and Walmart. They're really, really good, but I normally just pick them up at Home Depot whenever I have to get a new one or you can actually just pick up the actual head to the mop and not have to buy the whole bucket and stick again so that's what i like about this and not only that it rinses itself i don't have to touch the mop i don't have to do none of that and i could just buy new little things for it and call it a day it's so good I'm just moving the dresser where it belongs so that way then I can go in and put the rest of the stuff that's on the guest bed inside these drawers. As you can see, we have cameras in there and just just regular things that we just throw in these drawers. But I'm really happy to have this extra space because in mobile homes, there's not a lot of space at all. One thing I do want to say though is that this room did not look like this before and I still maintained it clean at some points because even though it's not fixed or your home is not fixed, you definitely want to be a steward of your home and even if it doesn't look like this or it just isn't the way that you want it remodeled right now or just not the way that it you know, makes you feel like you don't even want to be in there, just do it anyways make sure you love what you have right now so that way when you actually fix it and make it look nice you don't forget about it so that is my motto definitely love 
what you have now, even if it's not fixed. And you will love it even more when it is. And it's just something that is just stuck with me. And it's so crazy that this room does not look like how it used to look. That's what's crazy. That's what's mind blowing to me is that we sacrificed so much and done so much to our home that now looking at it, I'm like, I even remember us even living the way that we lived before. I'm going to take all these sheets off of this bed and wash them, the comforters and everything, because the last time they stood, I did not do it and they are coming again and I want them to feel comfortable. So I'm just going to wash everything here. And not only that, I am looking for bed sheets for this, these two beds, but I want to find one that I really, really love because it's so hard to put color into this room. Like it's so hard for me to find something that I, I absolutely love and I'm, I'm just like, what do I put? But I'm going to carefully look and see what I find. I'm definitely going to put these away because these are still good. They're actually perfect. Nobody actually comes and stays here a lot. So probably like every six months we have guests. But I'm going to get these cleaned up. And I'm also going to be looking for some in the near future and see what we change this room coming up. Let's see how we can change it. So I know I'm going to get asked also, what is that mattress that is by the windows? And that is just our regular mattress that we had for a very long time. And we actually cut it to that shape so that way we can have a mattress there and we have more space because when my family comes, it's a lot of them. So I want them to be comfortable and have the space to just hang out and feel comfort in that room and this just gives an extra space for somebody to sleep on that side and it is so comfortable you guys sometimes i go in there to edit or just record um the voiceovers and i just love being in there because it's so calm you can just look out the window i can watch what yadel's doing and just be nice and calm while i'm editing videos or doing my voiceovers so it's really nice to just sit in that like comfort area that that's by the windows i love it so much When I move the bed, you may see that we have some furniture underneath this bed. So we actually put our dining room table underneath here because we have bought it new from Rooms to Go and never used it. And 
I was a little bit iffy because I'm like, maybe I should just put it on Facebook Market because it'll probably get messed up by the time we go to use it when we extend the house. But I'm just trying to hold on to dear life. But I think I might just post it on Facebook Market and just see if somebody would be interested in it because I don't know. I really don't know how I feel right now. But I didn't want to get rid of it. But if I have to, because it's just taking up space. Well, it's not taking up space because it's underneath the beds. But I just feel like somebody else can use it. It's not being used. It's just underneath there. And we're not extending the house until a few more months, even close to a year. And I don't want to just have stuff that I'm not using at the moment. I get asked a lot what do I wipe down my stuff with and sometimes I use method glass cleaner but right here I am just using a gain solution and I just mix it with water and that is all that I use. I'm taking a quick break from that room because I'm actually going to put laundry in. I want to put those um, sheets in the laundry but I wanted to show you guys I got sent over a toaster and I'm so excited. So I'm excited. It's supposed to be touch screen and all of those goodnesses that it has. I actually want to put it right here. This toaster that I have is garbage. It does not work the way that I want it to work. So I'm glad that I'm getting a little bit of an upgrade and actually just getting a toaster because this one is just not it. it it's not it. I'm dying to get her out of the way. I'm already cleaning these countertops, but I haven't cleaned. Where the fence? Manual and stuff. Okay. Your dad's fighting. Your okay. fighting with Samson because he's watering the, the roses, and Samson likes to like. He loves the water. So if you have a hose out, Samson's gonna go for it. So let me tell you something, when it comes to cleaning the house or being a steward of your home, or being a homemaker, you have to multitask. And right here, that is exactly what I'm doing. The same day while things were washing in the laundry and I just had nothing else to do in that room, I went in and started washing dishes. I started cooking for Yadel and just doing things that I know needed to be done around the house. Another thing that I want to do, if you guys want to see it, definitely let me know, is get this stuff off of these shelves and I want to wash everything. So shelf by shelf, I just want to go in and wash things that are on there because it is true it does get greasy if you leave it piled up there and it's been a few months so at like every six months i'm thinking i want to just go in and just put everything in a soapy bath and wash it and pre-rinse and do all that good stuff and then let it dry and put it right back up or change out the decorations i don't know yet we'll see how i'm feeling but we'll definitely see but I do know that I need to get this stuff washed. So if that's something that you guys would want to see, definitely let me know in the comments.
right here i was just frying up some pork and just making it kind of like crispy to eat with some white rice and some beans that is our go-to meals is white rice beans and a type of meat whether it's fish meat whatever and i'm just going to continue to wash these dishes <laughs> and get them to where they need to be i was very excited about that toaster i'm so glad i can get that big chunky toaster out of my kitchen i was dying to get that out of there so i'm really happy uh, that i can get it out of there but i will leave the links down below to the toaster that i got because i'm sure you guys are gonna ask and i try to link everything i do try but i am gonna link it down below for you guys so y'all can go check it out if you want to Now it's time for me to put in a load of laundry and I'm just going to go in and put in all the sheets from that room. I also want to wash that green comforter that is up there because when I took it off, I did not wash that. I washed all the sheets and stuff, but I did not wash the comforter and I want to put that comforter away. So I want to get that washed and also these pillows washed. I be washing everything y'all i put everything in the washing machine and then i either hang it outside or i keep it in here i actually want you to build me like a clothes line so i'm really excited about that if you guys want to see him build me that definitely let me know because i will post that as well <laughs> because i need one i want one so bad i love to hang the clothes outside it just smells very fresh and i'm really excited to have a clothes line Another thing is I want to start making my own detergent. I've been watching a lot of videos. There is a lot of good and bad to making your own laundry detergent. So I've been trying to find one that I would like. And it's being a little bit difficult, but I got to wait for my herbs to grow so I can take out some lavender. And I also want to put maybe rosemary in it so that way it can have a nice smell to it. But I don't know yet, so we'll see. If I do decide to do it, I will definitely make a video for it for you guys so you guys can see how I do the soap and also some dish soap. I've been trying to find a, like, not vegan, but a more um, non-toxic type of soap. I use Dawn at the moment, and I know Dawn is really good, but I want to actually find a bar soap, like a bar of soap. So... I am looking for that and I've seen some that I actually like so I might go ahead and move forward with the purchase but I don't know just yet but if you guys know any definitely let me know as well down below.
Now I'm just going to go in one last time and I'm going to sweep the whole room. I'm also going to pass a mop because I want to make sure I take out just any stains that I have on the floor. I don't really mop this floor very often, you guys. Probably once every week just because this isn't waterproof flooring. So I don't want to just like risk anything. But we've actually had this flooring in our bedroom for about two years. And it is doing really great. So for the price, I, I'm in love with it. I love the flooring. And if in the future we do have to change, we already know like kind of what we're going for in the future. So definitely we'll probably be changing our minds in a few more years and maybe want to change out the flooring once everything is done and we just have little things to change out we might just want to go out and do that but as of right now we love this flooring this flooring is so worth it especially for 79 cents a square foot you can't go wrong One thing about it is that whenever I'm cleaning or recording a video, Yadel is always there, you guys. So that was him just doing a little dance for y'all. <laughs> we are going to just clean up this hallway as well since I'm just passing them up and swept this hallway. So I'm just going to go in and do that really quick. I also want to get these windows cleaned. So I will be posting a video on how I clean the windows because we need to clean them and the windowsill being that they are wood. I do it a certain way. So I'm, I probably will post something like that for you guys. It is the next day, so good morning. I am just going to put all the bed sheets on the bed. This right here, I've been trying to get it out since yesterday. You guys gave me so many different remedies and I tried about two or three of them. I think it was like three of them and it still didn't come out. And I actually think I made it worse. Plus on this one now, it has this huge stain that did not dry. And this one right here. So I'm just over it. At this point, I'm thinking about just changing out these beds. I'm going to keep the mattresses, but I am going to change out the beds. I'm going to buy new beds and probably a new dresser for here. Because I'm just not going to be... I would not buy a bed again. With that type of material, I would not buy a bed like that ever again. But I want to start putting the pillowcases on the pillows that I have on this side of everything else drying. So I just have to wait for everything else to come out of the dryer. And this room should be done. Which I'm very happy about. I hate that stain. Like I want to get rid of these beds already. I would never buy a bed with that material. Alright, over again. Now I'm just gonna go in and put these pillowcases on and also make the beds. Yadel has to help me make the little loft area type of thing that bed because we have to actually lift up the mattress so I'm just gonna leave this here at the end you're gonna see how everything came out and I just love this room like I said it did not look like this before it definitely changed and it's so crazy to me how this room went from one way to another in just a couple of years. Literally a couple of years because it took forever to remodel this house. But either way, we do love our home and we are very grateful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We love y'all and we will see you in our next coming videos.